Okay, so let's start. Let's have our prayer first. Sabok kay mo iro. Okay, so let us pray in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Prayer to Saint Rita. O glorious Saint Rita, you did share in a marvelous manner the sorrowful passion of our Lord Jesus Christ. Give me the grace to suffer in patience the miseries of this life and be my refuge in all my necessities. Amen. Saint Rita, pray for us in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, good afternoon, everyone. Afternoon, down. Afternoon. So we will continue with our discussion on mice as an industry. So this is chapter two. I forgot where we stopped last time. No, kay. I think we stopped at meetings. If my memory serves me right, we were able to finish this. Yeah, we finished on the meetings. No. And Congress us. Okay. So we will proceed with symposium. So these are other types of meetings. So this still falls under letter M. No? So symposium is a formal presentation where there is a limited interaction between presenters and the audience. Usually there will be like a lecture no, uh, from the expert. No? Or for example, um, from a speaker. Know where the audience can ask questions after the discussion. So usually there is no. This is where limited interaction comes in, because every time the speaker would say something, dili man siya ma interrupt. Now I think he had this kind of um, activity when we had our congress. No, dito sa Iloilo, di ba? If you can remember, nga daghan ka ayuta, and then there were different speakers, and then the questions were just. You know, ask at the end of the activity, no? And then there are also panels. So um, a panel is more of like two or more resource persons. In a lecture, usara ang koan ang expert ng mo discuss and then mo tana niya ang sa panel. Sometimes two or more, no? Like there are four of them, and sometimes they agree on a certain like topic or they disagree, no? Or for example, um, they talk about a certain issue. This is quite common in politics, no? Nga, we're in all of the candidates for election are asked about their opinion you know, about the country and how they can make better programs for the country. And then one would, you know, question the other. Nyang uban kay mag share sharing, things like that. more than sharing, no? Sa gani kay mag maglalis sila po, no? Or they disagree with each other. Then a workshop requires hand-on activities to facilitate trade, uh, learning. So uh, there will be a facilitator who will provide a lecture, but then you will have to also do the activities that is related to the lecture. So medyo um, demanding ni siya kind of activity class ang workshop kay need mangu kamo pay attention sa facilitator. They don't call it as a speaker. They call it facilitators because uh, not only that they will be teaching the participants in the workshop, but they will also be um, what they call this, facilitating activities. No, ila po nang i-monitor if unsay lang progress, if they are struggling with the progress. Okay, on forum is an interactive discussion led by invited speakers, requires the presence of a moderator or facilitator. So there are it's like the same as the panel, no? And there is a moderator that will also help um control each members of the panel or the speakers so that they will not, you know, overshare or ilahan nilang i dominate ang tibuok time. So there are like given timers elaha. Seminars are um like an activity where there are much more interactions between the attendees and resource speakers. I know you had um an experience of this one, no, no, we're in the speaker will will provide like a lecture and then afterwards after each topic, like a portion where you can have like a question and answer. So unlike sa like the symposium, no, no, we're in a tingubo na sa pinakala, ang seminar is usually each in each topic. 
So this is applicable for smaller groups. If daghan gani, like for example, within the fil, uh, within Negros Occidental or within the Visaya, so usually symposium na na siya. So clinics or activities, usually on sports activities, so na mga drills and very like active activities no nga we're in. Um, lihok should sila. No, and I coach, mo train nila. No, para mas ma-improve po ilang skills on sports, no, or a specific kind of like activity. But usually this is quite common among sports, no. Next are retreats. So, person ano, um, usually they would seek to have a retreat away from the city, no. And sometimes they make this as, as an activity to bond or to strengthen their, their um, group, no. Or sometimes they even talk about like, plans and programs for the company. So, more na siyang mga itsura, no? For meetings. So, if you're going to look at the rank of Manila and selected Asian cities based on the number of meetings hosted, I think I already said this one, no? No, no discuss naman din ako ni last time. So, yung number 74 si Manila, no? Sa... Asian cities, so dili ASEAN, Tibok Asian cities, and then ang Cebu is 206. I think I discussed this already. Murag humana ka sa, sa meeting tananda. Oh, oh, oh. Incentives, murag na humana po, no? Conventions na tawala. I think conventions na nag-stop. So we'll just skip na lang. I think we already discussed incentives. Are we done with this? Limot naman ko, tagusan naman ko kasi mahal. Yes, ma'am. Maragoma na na, ma'am. Ah, sige. So, that's it sa conventions. So, conventions is a meeting with an exhibit. So, it's more of just like a symposium, but then if you go outside um, of the function hall, there is actually like an exhibit of like booth or like for example, na ay mga tarpaulin sa lain-lain ng mga lugar when they showcase their place. This is quite common during tourism month. Here in Negros Occidental, and also I had experience when they awarded the in in PEMO, no, sa Provincial Environmental Management Office, wherein each city has to showcase or school has to showcase one of their best sustainable practices, no, and environmental practices inside of their school or in their um, establishment. And there was like a symposium, like an awarding or like discussions. And then after that, when we went outside of the SMX, no, we saw different booths no like we can also um you know compare and see what are the different establishments or schools that have the best um rep kind of practices no or more sustainable programs so it is defined as a gathering of delegates representatives and members of a membership or industry organization convened for a common purpose so it could be just like the tourism Month in Agros Occidental, nga, there are also booths, no, nga, na ay mga contests, na ay booth, and then na apoy mga, like, seminars, so it's typically like a convention, no, nga, wherein they have the same purpose, no, that, which, which is to highlight tourism. Sa PEMO, ilaha is to, of course, showcase, no, sustainable and environmental practices in Negros Occidental, regardless if it's in the, in the private or public sector, if it's schools or, you know, businesses, so, this is an example of a convention. So, Asia's biggest franchise event, Asia to the World, the World to Asia. So, um, their conference is about, you know, global franchising, trends and development, shopper trends and evolving consumer behavior. So, it's more of like showcasing you know, um, one of the best businesses in the Philippines and you share it, or in Asia and you share it to the world and the world also shares like, one of their like best mga business highlights no also to Asia so mura pud siya og kanang sharing of ideas ba no so na pud diray um, panel of experts no and then dira sila mag discuss on um, the challenges and opportunities of small um scale um small and medium enterprises or small scale businesses mga best practices of franchise relationship so if you if you just you know, observe the topics they usually have about the conference. It's more on business, you know, about consumer behavior, about um, small and medium enterprises, no, small scale businesses. So, mo ni ang ilahang layout. 
no sa ilahang function hall or, or sa ilahang uh, work area where they have the convention or the expo so na ay um mga booth no micro food cart food kani pores food there jud ni siya na ko mabasa ni usan like fish food this and then food no and then international so na mga international booths dire ibutang supplies and allied services mga emerging concepts and then in here these are like activity areas no and then this is the retro energy pavilion so makita ni mo siya dire class nga naa siya mag area for like sessions no na apod siya area where inay mga booths no so nindot kay siya kay ini common yung sessions or activity gawas ka pwede ka kagtus mga different booths where in you can you know dine or like you look at other businesses that you would like to become like a partner with and this is like a very good opportunity for um emerging businesses no or even small businesses or medium businesses no because they can showcase their business to other like stakeholders no to other businesses or investors that who would like to partner with them so nindot kaayo siya nga kanang ko nindot kay siya nga opportunity no kay this is where you build connections pang good class importante pud be na siya and then how can you extend your network if you don't showcase that to a gathering where in naapoy daghan ka ang mga business minded people pod no nga who are willing to listen to you so mga ing ana usually kani mga ko ay mga naapoy expose for example if you would like to invent something no and you would like someone to invest more push like shark tank if you are familiar with the show we're in there's like an inventor or na ashay moon nga product iyahan nang i showcase sa katong mga investors and then ilahang more bubayad sila or nay usa dira nga mga convince so siya ang invest ana nga kind of like business and to see if it's a very good investment so may ana ba no ana ang uh, example sa um, a convention sa SMX convention center okay so let, let's now proceed to exhibitions no so this is the last one under e we're done with meetings incentives conventions and then let's now proceed to exhibitions so exhibitions are events where products services or promotional materials are displayed attendees visit exhibits on the show floor this focus primarily on business to business relationships events where products and services are displayed traces its roots to the great exhibition of 1851 in london So there are different kinds of exhibits class na ate public consumer show, trade show, and then also we have combined events. So a public consumer show is open to the public, usually requiring entrance fee, and the fee is typically very very kaalaman siya affordable because it's open to the public. No na ay uban nga shows nga dili open sa public nga or in kinalan siya o kanang may pagka expensive nga nga fee and it's ko ana siya. Mm more exclusive siya ani nga type of people. So for example, it's a trade show for um cars, no? So those who are in the car industry or car enthusiast which are very selected na pod ang allowed to join in the trade show. So in that kind of exhibit. So Public show is open to the public. Usually, na aja pun like food or businesses, no, ang ang na andira, no, which can appeal to the public. And trade show is more on not open to the public, but a business to business event. So, ang kalabanan ng mga witness, anang mga booth or exhibits dira class are also businessman. Unlike sa public or consumer show nga sagol sa businessman or kaning kita mga consumer sa nga wala tay business, but we like to buy things, de ba? Well, ang trade show is more on an opportunity of a business to also connect with another partnership from another businessman so these products are not sold directly unlike the public consumer show nga ko bantayan nimo kanana ay mga um like trade show ang sa plaza sa una no maligya sa mga pagkaon kung nakainom do mo anak last no katong katong nindot pa kaayo to sa una no tong wala pay covid nga uh, during Um, peso week na apo to no na eh, mga bis- local businesses mga bata kay mga maligyag mga pagkaon no niya kita pud santarita sa una to ni apil ta sa tourism 
weak pod so na yung mga tindahan ta nga silingan no nga kabaligya pod og food so that is an example of a consumer show nga you can buy food from booth or products from the booth directly pero sa trade show dili siya because ang um, purpose ana is i-showcase na ko ni akong product taga um kani siya nga person kay ako siyang demohan if ginahan gani siya na um, may transaction later on or and we will exchange numbers or emails and then dira na mag mag-conduct transaction after na the trade show if ever nga they would like to partner or purchase my products para sa anang ako supplier ko sa uh, supplier ko sa vacuums baron and then mag product demo ko tubangan sa one of the like CEOs or kanang go work sa usa ko nga hotel so when i do a product demo and they like it no, and they want to use that kind of equipment in their hotel for efficient cleaning so exchange you make numbers and then mayos nga Okay, I will just contact you, etc., etc. We would love you to be our direct supplier in like sa vacuum cleaner, no? So after na, mo na dapat yon, no? Dira na dapat ang after sa trade show, makuan dapat yon ang um, transaction. So mo na siya no business to business type of audience on trade show. So what are the benefits of trade show? It initiate contacts with new customers, develop new trade leads, maintain and new con- contacts with valued clients. Launch new products and services through live presentation. So, what is your product demo? Enhance corporate profile and image. Even sa hotels, kasi ako kung giingon niyo class no nga. Even ganis sa hotels class, we participate in exhibits sa SM or sa Ayala dito sa Cebu nun. I was still having my OJT because it's one way of showcasing our hotel. At the same time, we will be inviting not just consumers to visit. Or like or just regular customers to visit our hotel, but we will also be you know inviting potential businessmen to partner with us. Nga, hey, okay, why not? Diri ko sa inyong hotel magconduct o kanang seminar or workshop no sa ako ang mga tao sa ako ang company. So, mana siya mga ideya ko ane yun business card sa inyo ha. So there are also combined events. Events open to the trade for the first couple of days, and then the event allows the public to, um, to view it. So combine sa sa consumer og sa um businesses, no? So merge og trade show and consumer show in one. So an example of this is una sa mulantaw sa sa exhibit is ang kanang mga businesses, no? Like mga businessmen, those who are part of the trade and then afterwards after sa three days um pasulo na din open na din siya for the public kay huma naman no na naka make transactions naman ang mga businessman and then ang public na dayon ang mo mo sulod para they can also buy um directly from the exhibitors kana adito you know this a kind of event because this is hitting two birds with one stone because ikaw ko ikaw supplier and ikaw nga merchant ka daghan ibaligya no and showcase to businessmen and to the consumers so not only that you can be able to make a deal and a partnership with a potential business but you can also earn money from the consumers no during the the event or the exhibit so much nicer ang combined events These are examples of trade exhibitions like Philippine uh, Participation China ASEAN Expo. So, i-highlight nila ang mga Philippine-made nga mga kuan, mga furniture, and then furniture po sa oban nga mga countries, or they have other pro- uh, products there nga lang in-showcase. So, mga ing na, no? Consumer exhibits is more open to the public. This is more open to trade. Okay, we're in... I-showcase siya akong ikuan ba nga. Diba na, di mo mabaligya dyan, no? Kaya pila naman ang kabukin mong ginadala, di ra i-showcase yung mong booth. Pero ang mga potential nga businesses nga ginahan, anak ko, I like your craftsmanship, ginahan ka, ayaw ko sa inyong furniture. So, can you make some for my hotel, ano, or for my my company, o oh, mga yung anak? Walang consumer is dagahan, no? Yeah. Di na din na mo ang to ang mga market divisor, yeah. Kasi di na mo ang to ang mga consumers to buy because course, it's more of like an ex- exhibit. Magpura sa ito, ginabot ito, kada pista, good, gana, ay mga booth-booth, mga maligya, dahil yun, o ilahang mga maligya, dira, diba? Nga nagitawag siya, trade fair, kung nakayo numdum mo, no, itong pista, makaming ang face-to-face, biya. Okay, so, other parts of exhibits are exposition. It's a large-scale industrial regional exhibition scheduled for a longer period of time. It's more of just like an exhibit, but 
unlike like three days, five days, usually tag two weeks, no? Tapos taas na yung kaayahang time nga mag-open siya sa public or either sa mga businesses. Ang fairs are occasional meeting of buyers and sellers specifically to trade. Okay, events based on purpose and content. So, we have marketing events. It facilitates bringing of the buyer and seller together or create awareness to the commercial product. An example of this is the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show. So, muna po siya ukuan ba nga? Ay, mga fashion shows pang good is, you know, not only businesses or those who are part of the fashion industry are able to witness, but even consumers themselves na nga, wala ilang kagaling nga business nga. Mulantaw na sa fashion show, kaya ginahan sila mulantaw, niya, basta nalil sila gusto paliton. No, di ba? So you have like people like Heart Evangelista, no nga, mufalo, magtumdun na sila mga fashion shows. Not because they would like to partner with this kind of um, fashion, ko, ano, fashion company, but they would just like to see what is nice so that she can also buy like one or two pieces for herself. Okay? And then open house is new residential and or commercial property. And product launch is an introduction of new products. So usually we do, we do product launch like a conference per room or you open that in an exhibit. Okay, festivals. So cultural celebration, either secular or religious, created by and for the public. So, usually, we have this kind of festival, no, sa ato ang ako an nga, we're in, um, na asay, like, for example, sa Pista to sa San Carlos, no, nga, na ay parts po dira ga showcase sa products sa San Carlos City, you know, there, there is a portion there, we're in, even during the Charter Day, no, nga, we're in, na ay mga local produce na to i-highlight, furniture, no, um, mga beautiful places sa San Carlos City, i-highlight siya during, like, a very, like, a mini exhibit, so, that's an example of, like, a cultural celebration. In Japan, they have, like, festivals, no? Nga, wherein ga sell sila, like, mga traditional Japanese food or games, no? And then, they have to wear, like, a kimono because it's a cultural celebration. Okay, religious events. So, cultural as well as national, original, indigenous events that honor traditions. Social events, so private event by invitation only. It could be particularly for this specific company only and it's open to you know, their stakeholders and shareholders. Ra, and selected stakeholders ra pwede ka attend. Ang fandom is social group that organizes members only events. If if you are fond of like Comic Con, nung we're in katong fond of like cosplay or kanang mga anime, no? nga na anya sila yung usaka ka ng convention no or a big event wherein they dress up their favorite anime character no and mana fans of fiction genre so na pud na other than comic con like webicon person sa youtube pud no nga wherein youtubers can um meet together and meet their fans no nga mga booth and all so pud na siya example of events Sports events, so a spectator or participatory event involving recreational or competitive sports activities scheduled alone or in conjunction conjunction with other events. So you have an example of that is the Sea Games or Ang Olympics. Advocacy and philanthrop philanthropic created by or for a charitable cause related group or to attract revenue. So it could be like a charity ball. Or a charity concert, or ang uban ana is marsha o kanam charity sale, no? Nga, uh, mga sinina nila ilang e auction, no? For like a special cost, di ba? Other events focuses on natural wonders like flora, fauna, and spiritual events. So here are some examples of the different events. You have like the Winter Olympics in Canada. Paralympics, pod, basketball, cheer, dance. So, those are examples of sports events. So, kanino, kanang mga, like, social or cultural, no, like, Kusap Love Palooza, so intended for couples, no, or mga young, younger audiences. Pamansang music laban, so those who are fond of Pinoy rock, no, and music and bands. Uh, 45th um, Anvil Awards, no. So, naatay for the environment, na uban like, for example, Sinimalaya, nga, it's more on film and the arts. So, what about sa nature, no? Like, bird watching, 
Or for example, like mag mountain trekking, but oh no. Kaning research expeditions. So more on the environment and animals. So mga cultural and spiritual events. So you have festivals, no? like, like the Marion, uh, Mariones in Marinduque, Pahiyas in Lukban, and Sinulog in Cebu. So appeal siya po niya sa sports, no? Formula One, Monaco Grand Prix. Even like weddings, no? Mga big social events. Okay, so these are just some of the examples of events, no? Anyway, as long as there is a gathering of people with shared interests, that is already a part of mice industry. Whether it may be for recreation, leisure, for academic, for business, for sports, health, tanan. Basta it's a coming of people together, sharing the same interests, sharing skills, knowledge. Let's now proceed to the mice in the Philippines. So in here, so as you can see in this table, these are the item of expenditure. So the things that you usually need in a mice event. No, so you have the exhibit hall or meeting rooms, equipment rentals, like the sound system, baron, no, or chairs, kung na additional chairs and tables. Um, like for example, kan um, projector, no. Services hired, so the people who will be working, like the events manager or the events company or organizers, food and beverage functions, so you have like catering, staff members leaving expenses. So, of course, no day and night, they will be helping and organizing big events and sometimes no in-house na sila. Kaya lagi para ba yung lugar niyo? Kasi mag-decorate pa sila, mag-prepare pa sila for the next day. Need to organize the things that will be prepared for the next day, so... Usually, in-house na sila. So, as of the living expenses of the staff. Um, taxi, car rentals, and other transport services. So, of course, you need to have transportation for not just your participants in MICE events, but also for, um, like, equipment, supplies, no? And even your staff, if there is, like, um, the kulang sa, sa supply, so na ashay paliton sa gawas, no? Para to, ano lang, no? To, um add to like unsay missing dira sa event so appeal na pud na supplies and materials so for example if it's like a meeting so you have like paper and pen no so pila mga necessary materials needed for the activity or for the event and other miscellaneous expenses so makita ni mo in, in the year 2000 no an average expenditure for exhibit hall or meeting rooms is 32515 that is still in 2000 how much more karon no, so medyo mahal, mahal na siya ang spend just for like decorating or for renting the meeting room. So, total amount in peso is 357,666. So, the amount of share of that, no, out of the total amount that they spend in the exhibition or meeting rooms is at least 17%. So, ako na nga amount ang ma-earn sa, um, you know, in our economy, excluding the private sector palang daan no so dako po kaayo siya og um what they call this morag advantage no if you become like host um host city no sa mga dako kay nga events so equipment and rentals na amo dagan sa 283,652 ang total amount so an average expenditure for just equipment rentals in one event is naa sa mga 25,787 Dili na ko ni siya basahon tan basa inyo ha lang makita. And even there is um a decrease no in 2001 because you see it's lahi naman ang ang like ang event sa una no dili siya parya sa 2000s nga grabe jud kaayo no almost especially daghan man kaayo ang ang events in 2000s nga kita ang nag-host. 2001 medyo ubos ubos siya. How much more karon no nga dili na jud kaayo ta ing anak ka ano na sa, sa events, no? Wala na kaayo ga-earn ang conventions industry. Kaya wala naman sa gamit ang mga meeting halls, no? Kaya pandemic naman, shifted na siya to online. Pero sa una, of course, no, kusog pa kaayo siya. We have the facilities and there are only a few countries before nga um, we're in level with the, ano, 
no with the what they call this in level with the Philippines sa una. And Singapore is actually one of the leading countries. Sila din na siya ang number one sa Asia when it comes to conventions industry. They have the facilities mang good. So kita evolving pa man taato, but we also grew in popularity when we hosted several like pageants or uh, the Olympics. Tapos wa mukoy kita Olympics jud no kana mga SEA Games sa mana ato a. So dili kaayo pa ang anak ka kusog ato ang um, mice industry sa una. No? A 2000 kusog. Ning ubos sa following year. Siguro because they were better better countries, no, in providing um establishments and convention centers. So there are different DOT attached agencies that is also concerned with the mice industry. So you have TPB, there's a promotions board. Usually they are also in charge when it comes to providing promotional materials, no videos that help highlight the beauty of the Philippines. So we also have the Tourism Infrastructure and Enterprise Zone Authority. You already knew this no in second year or third year. So Tiaza. Uh, Duty Free Philippines Corporation, the FPC, Intramuros Administration, National Parks Development Committee or NPDC, na yung Filipino Foundation, which is they also funded the development of the tourism guidebook here in Negros Occidental. Now, and PRA, Philippine Retirement Authority, Philippine Commission on Sports Scuba Diving. So those are some of the associations that is tied up with DOT and helping helping provide. Uh, better infrastructures in the Philippines, no, and, and also in favor of mice. So this is a separate survey for the same year in Japan. Um, this is this one is more uh, in the International Association Survey, and this one is National Association Survey. So makita niyo class mas dako Japan ang amount nga na spend. So an average as, as, uh, association in the Philippines, no, usually spends at least two hundred ten thousand, and then naasa mga earnings na to, total amount is one million two hundred sixty four. Mga nos taghan man siya compare sa international. Kaya itong gamay naman usually ang mga other countries nga mo mo agto sa Philippines as the host country. Kalabanan ana mga mga naarjo sa tuang country, no, ang mag mag host og events sa tuang kaugalingon nga lugar. So, mo nang dako dako siya ug expenses compared to the international. Kani kay within san ko naman, within the country ra man siya. So, kato is ikan sa laing country nga nag ko ay nag meeting, nag event ya kita ang host country. So, gamay ra man so di should par maabot og um, a million no. 57,000 ra. So, um smaller pud no ang sa 2001 Gamay raman ang nag-ano ane, but ang nakalahian lang is dili po ding anak ka drastic ang gap nila, di ba? One million man ni so kani 805,000. So, ubay ubay ra Japan ang mga events. Saba kayo mong iro, good class, pasensya ka ay. Naman ko itawa ito, nag-deliver o kwan ba? Mga gulay. So, Makita ni mo kasi mo i-compare ang international sa national na survey. Gamay raman, no? Kaya gamay raman ang gahost o mga events sa Philippines from other countries. Pero diri, gamay ra ang gap niya from 805,000 sa total amount in peso nga na spent in just you know, the exhibition center alone. If you compare it to the previous year pa ato, no? Kaya tungod, da, masking, kuan pa na masking, ma-discourage ang uban, mag, mag ano, organizations or like um, a meeting, no? Daghan naman, Japan. Dili lang siya ma-surpass, ma no? Ni ang, ang year 2000. Pero at least, daghan na, Japan, ang gaspend o ilang money to conduct or, uh, meetings, no? Events, or to spend their money in having like an organic, um, an association event or symposium. Okay, so let's try, try to see the competitiveness of the ASEAN countries when it comes to MICE no, or events tourism. So, as you can see, the Philippine falls under number 6 in ASEAN rank. Pero overall, um, na siya sa, actually, layo siya, no? Overall, niya, isa siya sa 86. 
asa man siya, ano, ano kay kung yung mong i-compare din sa regulatory framework, ika number 85 siya, meaning wala pa kayo na organize. And ika number 5 ra siya sa ASEAN, so higher than the overall rank. This is overall hang tanan, combined na sa regulatory framework, business environment and infrastructure, and even uh, human resources, no, the people involved. Okay. So, kani number 6 siya sa tanan nga ASEAN countries. Pero overall, around uh, around the world, ika-86 na siya. When it comes to regulatory framework or how the policies or, you know, the processes that they have in organizing events is ika number 5 siya. A better rank than, of course, countries like Indonesia, Vietnam, and Cambodia. And then, pero so overall, ika-85 ra. Kung atong isuryahan ang business environment of infrastructures, like the facilities that they provide, of course, we rank lower. Mas advanced yun ang obang countries. Labi ng like, countries like Indonesia, Thailand, and Singapore. No, Singapore dyan na siya ang leading. Overall, ning ubus pa dyan sa 89. Kaya dili pa kaayo develop ang infrastructures na to. While ang human resources, so it comes to like the number of people that we have and are also trained in mice events no or in events tourism so ika number 6 ta meaning we have trained individuals sa mampod no and we have ample amount of people who are also able to organize big events no and help also manage these events so ika number 6 ta but overall we fall short in number 70 so layo ra dra punta sa overall ranking if you try to look at other ASEAN countries, it's actually Singapore that is leading, followed by Malaysia and Thailand. It's no wonder because if you look at their infrastructures, layo rin sa ato, ah, dagko kayo infrastructures class, ilahang syudad palang daad, guwapo na, no? And also the quality of service that they provide is different from the quality of service that we provide, that, ah, uh, the Philippines is providing, no? So, lahi ang giprovide nila dito mas kuan nila ha, mas high standard ang Singapore. So, wala na wonder nga, naka number one siya sa ASEAN, and then top 10 siya sa overall index. Okay, so this is one of our biggest convention centers here in the Philippines. So, of course, without, kuan pa man, you know, without Iloilo, Davao, and Cebu. So, right now, it's not only Manila who, who has the big uh, convention center. You have even convention centers in Iloilo. Sa Cebu, pwede na, no? But it's not as big as what they have in Iloilo and Davao. So, usually international events, big international events are held here, no? In PICC. So, katunaw, uh, like, um, Miss World. I don't know if, you know, naman tayo Araneta, pwede, no? So that's it. No, that ends my discussion on mice as an industry. So just kind of take note of all of the things that we discussed in this chapter and also in the previous chapter because some of them I will be getting from from these both chapters. Ako ang question sa exam. Um, please take note that dili knowledge based tanan. Na I knowledge based nga part wherein I will ask you to enumerate and all, but um, I will not be forcing you to kuan should ba nga a word for word should labi nag na ay mga questions dito nga more on like in your own opinion. So I much highly would appreciate it if you answer based on your own understanding. Most of that na are mga enumeration or like identification per ginagmayra. No, dili jud ingon nga tanan. No, kay mga copy paste sabi ninyo sa PowerPoint. So usually ka ng mga kuan na po essay based no, or constructed response kind of questions. Okay, so we ended early, no? Um, I will not open a new topic anymore because it's it's the midterm, um, no, prelim exam next week. So just a few reminders. Um, midterm exam will be next week, same time, 1.30 to 3. So two hours na siya, ha? Two hours na siya kutub ang ato ang exam. Same with the other subjects. But usara man ang yung subjects sa ako, ano nga na ay exam. Ang research is ugma na. So, just make sure that you answer all of the activities that you miss out in other subjects before the prelim exam. Um, your statement of account is already 
sent in your CSR email. So if you are curious, pila ang inyong bayranan for the prelim, try to check your CSR email if naninisan ang um, treasurer's office. Kaya kung ayaw na sila, automated na na sila, class. So ilahara ng gamiton ang email na lang pag send and then naadira tanan pila imong bayranan. So you need to settle your account before the exam kay basin close ang treasurer's office during that time. Um you try to look at the website guru or CSR nga FB page if naabay ko ay naabay dito sito sa sa GCash. If pwede ma GCash ba no ang mode of payment sa exam. Ito pa may lain. I'll try to as if na apala, you know, aside from GCash, pwede ba bank transfer? Kay, mag, ako na dunggan ato kuan man. Dili lang sila ng palawan, kay maglisod man good o claim. Mas maya, dito na lang sa bank. And then, para makabalo ang treasurer's office nga ning bayad na mo, siguro you have to email them or send a screenshot to Ma'am Annalie. I'll just provide the details of the Facebook name of the one of the staff in the treasurer's office. In kaso nga, dili mo kaagto sa school should on-site to pay for your tuition fee. Any questions before you will end? Exam permit. Pilaka items. Ang exam ni mo, ma'am. Pilaka items. Um, usually, ang ako kay naaraman na sa... 10 to 15. Depende na dyan na siya, miss, kay, dira mo ako na mabalaan once I draft the exam, good kay, um, usually I have like 10 items siguro for enumeration, sometimes mula pas pagani og 10, and then kung essay type siya, usually naasa 5 questions, 5 to 6 questions sa dyan na akong essay. Dili na kung mag, uh, malabot na og 10, kay mga kapoy na dyan kaayon na, no? so naasa mga 5 to 6 questions ang essay, ang uban na enumeration or, or identification. Pero dili na po nako daghan nun. no kay ato pong kuno na ang time pod ba. Basta 2 hours na na siya. Kay i 2 hours na ko na siya para tagaan mo ample time to answer labi na if hinay ang internet ninyo. Bali online po na ang exam ma'am. Yes, online na siya ang exam. You will access that in your uh, Google Classroom. Same sa kuan good sa uh, Google Form so yung anak. Ah, okay, ma'am. Salamat. Sige. Other questions? Again, sa mode of payment, mo ask lang ko ha, sa, si, uh, sa GCash nga number. And if sa bank siya, mungutan ako, if the same ba siya po, na ako'y, ako ay, na ako'y account dito sa, sa CSR jud nga bank account. Pero ako pang i-reconfirm if dito na ba siya po isend ang payment. Basta, ay lang mo kalimot o screenshot if it's done online. If ni Agtojun mo sa bank, picture na lang po sa receipt and then just kindly email the accounting office or i-send sa ko para ma-forward na lang na ko sa kay Ma'am Annalie. Okay. Okay, Dam. Kuhan okay. ba for tomorrow, mm -hmm. 2 p.m., Dam? Yes, 2 p.m. Mo sit in si Sister... Sally, Sister Cleof is not available because she is out of town. Sister Sally raog si Ma'am Jan. Yung confirm naman to sila na ako. Bago lang. Sister Sally. Mm -hmm. um, just I a reminder. I try na kung tiwas o edit ka rin dam da yun. Ako ang iya. Ako ipa-check yung mo hmm. niya. Then para makapractice with me. Ito, oo. Oo oh, ma. Kung yun sa tunin nyo atong pag-meet na to last Tuesday, nga ito lang, pero mas more formal lang. Nga ito na, Japon. Okay. Please prepare a prayer, ha? Kamulay mo lead sa prayer. Kamuna sa... Pwede na, Saint Rita. <laughs> Kay... Pwede na. <laughs> Pabalok ka, magtulog-tulog yun, may anak tanan. Ito, sige lang. Okay rin na siya. Naanawan mo yung kopya na sa Google Classroom dito na lang kwa, ha? Ah. Oh, okay, Dam. Salamat. Sige, thank you. Good luck, fourth year students. Okay, um, any more questions before we will end? Dali naman, no, buwan na itong class, eh. Sige, thank you. Um, before we will end, let us pray first.
In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion, grant them health in mind and body, strengthen their commitment to protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health, protect those who care for them, grant eternal rest to those who have died, give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, once again, thank you so much everyone for joining us in today's class. So, see you after the exam. Thank you, Dam. Bye-bye. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye.